Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie. Uh, as you can see, I still have my polish on. Actually, I think I put this on on Monday and I didn't use anything under it. It's held on really good. Uh, just a little bit of wear here, I'm sure, from typing. And here, so lots of typing. But I have a tiny tear starting right here. So I just wanted to show you, and actually this is my first time using this nail repair kit that I got off of Amazon. It comes with this buffer, this really rough nail file. I can't even handle touching it hardly. Uh, gel glue resin brush on, so it's on a brush. And then a powder dip. And this is supposed to be for repairs. You see, I can put the link uh, in the description box down below. Basic nail repair instruction for cracked, weak nails. Um, I just want to do it on that. I don't want to put it on my whole nail because I'm not really into putting that stuff on my nails. But I just, this keeps snagging. I don't want it to rip. Luckily, it came overnight. Um, so... And I thought it was cool that it said, please read if your brush on gel arrives dried up to contact them because Amazon won't um, take returns on flammable items. So I thought that's pretty cool that they have that little message in there. So let's see how to do this. I've never done anything like this. But you can see it's trying to tear right there. And this is common on my thumbs. And I feel like, I don't know about this one, but this side, when it does it, it's usually on this side. And this is where I used to break my nail all the time when I bowled league. So I was bowling a lot. Okay, so it says to buff the nail to smooth the surface. To avoid lifting. Oh my gosh, I can't even hardly handle the feeling of that on my nail. <laughs> it's not really rough though. And I did just out of habit wipe my nail down with alcohol prep pad. Okay, brush nail glue resin evenly to the entire cracked nail. I just realized I didn't take this plastic off. Oops. You know it's brand new. Got all that on there. Okay. Just tap this. I'm so nervous. Okay. I did open this to make sure it wasn't dried out and it's perfect. So. It kind of just smells like crazy glue, really. So I'm only going to apply this on part of the nail. All right? Yeah. <gasps> Don't spill that. Okay. I'm glad it's my non-dominant hand so I can use my dominant hand. So do that. Shake it off. I probably could get a little brush. So maybe this one. Oh, but I think I. Oh, maybe not. Okay. And then what? <laughs> Dip into the powder. Lightly tap the finger to remove any excess. Let it dry. Oh, okay. I don't think it says how long to dry. File the nail to that desired shape. Optional so for stronger nails. Repeat step one, two, and three once or twice more. 
Oh, it's pretty dry now. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it one more time at least. I don't wanna get it real thick. And it, it does say to put on the whole nail, but I'm not going to put it on my whole entire nail. Dip. Close this up. Let's brush this off around here. Didn't get it all the way on the glue part. Okay. This looks like there's some. Okay. Wipe this part off. <clears throat> did it? Oh yeah, it did. Oh, it's there. Okay. Oh, I get so nervous with this. Just knowing me, I would spill this all over the desk. <laughs> so it's actually not too rough. So that's good. That's nice that it's pretty smooth. Oh, I'm not one to like my hands to I, I got major texture issues okay and then it says buff the entire nail for a smooth look after using grit oh oh file the nail to okay I'm not filing it to a sh different shape except I'm gonna get this little rough part off right here I wonder if I should have gone like a little more. I don't want to break this nail going downward. I think I should. Maybe that's why they say to do the entire nail, but I don't want to do my entire nail. I didn't want to. But I'm going to... Apparently, I'm going to do the whole nail. I just don't want to mess up and have it break down the center. Do you all get what I'm saying? Because that would not be good. We'll see how it does too for that to at least let it grow out it looks pretty covered up Can you see that I should have taken like a before and after picture okay that's pretty dry one more layer or coat layer so they're the same just a little more Okay, that's going to be all of this powder that I'll use. Has anyone else used this? Um, I know Tiffy from Posh and Polish has used it because that's who I got the information from. Uh, she had mentioned that she used this and it helps that she uses any time she gets a crack and it's helped so much to get it to grow out 
so I hit her up for the information on it and she gave it to me. Oh gosh. So I, oh man. Really, I can't stand the feeling of this. I just want it to be smooth for when I do my next mani. But you know what? It's pretty smooth feeling. I just don't know if it's going to be smooth when I apply the polish. I'm going to have to put a glitter on so I can't see it because glitters hide any kind of imperfections. All right. So I will have this on. I just haven't taken the rest of my polish off because I don't know what I want to do yet. And I have to keep my polish on or my nails will break very easily. All right, so I may upload this by itself or I may attach it to the next video. See you in a minute. Ciao. All right, and here we go. I have my polish off. <clears throat> it ended up when I took this uh, polish off this nail I've got a tear down here, so I did do the uh, nail repair on this nail as well. You can see that's it, the thumb and this nail. And I do have the Orly Bonder on, which I do always list in the description box down below. So what I finally decided on is this set which is called break free this is a conference set i did receive three kind of disappointed that i didn't get the glitter one just three of this one but what what, what can i do at least i got these i guess so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna put the different jellies on <clears throat> excuse me uh both hands for corresponding fingers and I'm going to use Berry Blast on the pinky our pinkies grapefruit squeeze on the ring wild grape I know I wore this in my last video but just going on one finger I didn't wear it over something juicy pear which is my first time wearing and raspberry jam on my thumb thumbs I should say all right so I took out the tiniest pinky because I just want to see if I can stretch it to fit my pinky and I just if if not it's no big deal because I have the regular pinky size that I use but I just wanted to see because I have stretched them to where they fit perfect I just don't want to mess up the design up here would be really important to see if it fits okay so it didn't doesn't look like I distorted it it's just kind of more flimsy okay so far so good Yeah, not the best. It'll do. I'm covering it up anyway. So, actually, I just took the my last mani off. I had it on for eight days can't even believe it but the only reason so I fixed this thumb the other day which is the beginning of this video actually and I didn't take off my polish because I couldn't decide on a mani 
until today, which is Monday, the 31st of July. And I got these in the mail, and then I thought, oh, okay, it's not something that I just wear alone. It's just too busy for me. So I thought I would just put the jellies over it and different colored jellies on each one so we can see how they look on there. I don't think this is stretched enough. Uh, just don't want to tear it. Okay. And it's pretty. Yeah. Okay. So that works. So let me just toss this in here. I didn't seal this one in case I was putting some back and since it's the first time opening but I did not use the smallest pinky for these of these I'm just going to use two different ones so let's see how it looks on here That's pretty. Just, I'm not seeing a wow factor for myself, but I'll just keep plugging along. So the, yep, oops, the buy, uh, buy one, the BOGO, the buy one, get one sale is over. Anybody get some? I got some. Not a lot. I just got a couple that I had been wanting. Um, uh, shoot, now I can't even remember. The one French that has, like, I don't know if it's Secret Identity or the top. I did get a couple of that. I can't even remember what I got, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't get a lot, though. I think I got two other ones, and that was it, but I just can't even remember what they were. Why did my finger feel wet? It's weird. So, check it out. Okay, my one daughter with the seven kids, their house is kind of secluded in a cul-de-sac. Nobody, like they've got trees behind their house so you can't see from the freeway. The freeway's down a little bit, like lower than their house. And you can't see in their yard because they've got um, trees that they planted when they bought their house. Like, oh, this? Oh, no, I don't want to do that because I want them to just be the same. Oh, I should have done the heart. Man, darn it. Oh, there will be more. i got to pay attention to that. Anyway. And... It's a cul-de-sac. It's like the dead end of the cul-de-sac, pretty much. Like, you can't even see into the their yard on the side of their house because there, there's another house that has a tall fence, and then their vehicles cover their driveway. Well, they got my one grandson. He got an e-bike for his birthday at the end of May, so he hasn't had it very long. And they've got cameras all around. 
Okay, this is grapefruit squeeze going on. These are so, so soft and they just want to move all around. Um, but they discovered his bike missing from their yard where nobody can even see it from the road. The road is, you know, a block away. Uh, I think this can fit. I don't want to risk it. Anyway, so yeah, they discovered it missing. So they went to the cameras. And it was like at 5 o'clock in the morning where it's getting light out. You can see this woman, this grown older woman just strutting down the sidewalk like nobody's business like she knew she was going to their house like she was going to visit and was happy to be there <laughs> is what it looked like okay that's pretty I think that one is really pretty over that and then she slows down because the light from the camera comes on but they didn't have it set like ours is set to say Hi, you are being recorded. But it is now. But it looks like freaky in the video, you guys. So freaky because not the first video. The first video, okay, she's walking up like nobody's business. Oh, no. I have to go down a little for that heart. But I like that green on there. But, hmm. There's a heart. Oh, there's a And it's in the middle also. Well, we'll figure this out. Why does this look like a skinny one? just my eyes so on the video it shows her stop all of a sudden but then you can't see her because she kind of like ducks in front of their pickup truck or between their van and the pickup and a couple seconds later she comes Strolling up, and she's got a backpack on. Oh, I cut it off just a little, but that's okay. She has a backpack on, and then, I think I'm just going to use my thumb. Then she walks to the other side of their van, and she's there for a little bit, and I was like, oh my gosh, please tell me you locked your car, which they're usually really good about. Even the kids will check the doors to make sure. And they don't live in a bad area. But then neither do we and stuff happens. So. Okay. She went and dropped her backpack off. And I noticed on the backpack. She had several pairs of shoes hanging off of it. So weird. So then the next video, this is the part that's scary. If you were to just see this video, seriously, it looked like a, a scary movie and she was a ghost. The way she had this white dress on and the way she was standing there, it just <laughs> reminded me of a scary movie. Oh my gosh. Um... So it looks like at first, maybe she's going to go for their shoes, which they have shoes on a shoe rack. Like we don't wear shoes in the house. They don't wear shoes in the house either. And so shoes are all on a shoe rack, not their super nice, nice shoes. Those are inside like in a indoor shoe rack, but you know, just the everyday, no big deal. And you can't see that from the road or anywhere either, but it's just so weird how she was being. 
and then suddenly she notices the e-bike this is what it looks like so it looks like she actually was there for shoes <laughs> of course we don't know okay that that's pretty and I wasn't sure how it was gonna look over this but since it's glittery it, it hides any odd uh, bumps from the nail repair so she see turns and sees the e-bike and just takes off with it can you believe that and it's obvious that it's a child's e-bike it's unbelievable i just can't even believe it just can't even believe it they didn't even want to file a police report because they're like, what's that going to do? <laughs> Nothing happens nowadays with anything, it seems like. Just terrible. Poor Johnny. And it's not like it was out on the sidewalk by the, the cul-de-sac road, you know. It was in their yard on the side of... Uh, on the side of the house where you can't nobody can even see that one's kind of hard to see through I just can't even believe it <sighs> people like what how did they even know I mean if they weren't going for shoes but if they were what makes them walk all the way down the cul-de-sac past so many houses straight to their house if it was for the bike you can't see that were they like watching from the road the kids ride the bikes when they ride them and they see which kid lives at which house I mean it's the only thing I can think of people are just something else just don't even get, understand I really don't so then today, <laughs> today I go check the mail and walking back, and it's so random, I'm walking back and our mailbox is like down the block and around to the other side, not even, oh my gosh, is this going to even fit? I have to find another one that's going to fit. Oh, maybe it will. Ooh. Okay, it does. Just barely. Just barely. This wild grape is just such a pretty one. I just. How did she know? But then was she going for shoes? And then again, or there again, why to their house? I mean, they do have the biggest house in the neighborhood, but it's a one story. It's not the, across the, the main street. Now those are some huge, expensive, expensive, expensive houses. There's this, you know, one story okay that's pretty I like it so far okay so anyway that's uh, that's what's been going on <laughs> it's stuff like that all over the, here is it over, all over the place where you live too and where you are just Oh, there's more stuff happening, like the children's park across the street that I walk the kids to, and then I do laps around the playground and then with them in the stroller, and then I let them go play, but they have to suffer and <laughs> sit in the stroller while I do a couple laps around, which is a pretty good walk. Um, the other day, everyone got told to evacuate the playground are we left to go run errands 
and there had to have been oh my gosh 15 to 20 30 cops they had the roads blocked off It was there they were everywhere just everywhere looks like I went it short but that's just the design then they evacuated the playground and told everyone something's gonna go down you don't want to be here for it well when we got home we were gone for a while and we stayed gone thinking it would be done by then but no, they had moved to behind the playground, closed, the big road was all taped off so you couldn't get through it. Something big going down, SWAT, everything. Okay, we, this is not a big town where we live. We do not live in a great big town. This isn't Portland. So, yeah, the park was evacuated. They had drones. They, they had the works. We never found out what happened. There was a thing on Instagram on the news channel saying that they had... Oh, wait, when we got home, right as we got to our door, we heard... First, we thought for sure, oh, look at that um, pear one on here. Juicy pear, is that what it's called, right? Oh, I like it. Can I do this on there? I don't want to use it if I don't have to. Anyway, we thought we heard gunshots. And I'm like, get in the house. Get in the house. Whoops, look at that, I'm getting so riled up. So I got on the camera, oh yes, and listened better. And I think it was like a flashbang. One of those flashbangs that they did at the house. But it, I mean, it's down a couple blocks, but I'm just like, my gosh and then you know men they want to be all curious I'm like get in the house he's going in and out trying to see what well, we can't see like it's happening if the um, house houses it's like a little flag property wasn't in front of our house and then secluded then the park would be right there and then that was going on right over that <laughs> but he just wanted to keep going outside well, our road got really busy because since the main road was closed everyone was using our road to get through so that made it even more okay that's good because that's the end I like to use or just the big big thumb anyway um, just nerve wracking. And I didn't want to leave the house again after that. It's just, gosh, it's just getting too close to home, all this, you know? <laughs> I just don't know. There we go. Um, yeah. Having this, I know it's kind of sloppy right there, but I just need this to grow up so that the nail doesn't rip across my nail bed. You know what I mean? But it putting the nail repair on and then putting it on this one makes me wish I had acrylic over my natural nails, but I wouldn't do that again. I know this is like some acrylic stuff going on, but it's a temporary one that will come off easily. 
Not like when you go in and get your nails done. I just, I can't do that ever again. I did it for probably 20 years or so, at least. Maybe more. Oh, so pretty. So, yeah. Kind of been having excitement over here. Not excitement that I like to have, really. <laughs> but, uh, it's just crazy. Like, I wouldn't be talking about this through my whole video if it wasn't happening to, to us in our area. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but today, so that happened, like, like over the weekend with the bike. Then today, my son-in-law gets a message from a buddy of his who <sighs> thinks they know who stole the bike and that they have someone that they know because this guy is all in with like he's not a homeless person but he's in with the homeless people like I don't know if he helps them or I don't I'm not really sure what it, what it is exactly but he saw a lady I would not call her a lady I'd call her more like a scumbag Sorry, but it's the truth. You don't steal like that. Or steal, period, right? Uh, at the can return place in Portland. So, what did I... Okay. Um, and he sent the address of it. And she was going around trying to sell an e-bot, an e-bike, to people bringing their cans in. So I don't know if my son-in-law. I don't think he went. I think he would have told me by now, had he gone. But he does work, <laughs> so he was busy at work. And then my other grandson. He had to go pick him up from the airport because he just got back from his nine-day trip to Japan. I didn't go over there so they could all have family time together. Just the family. Everybody missed him. He's the oldest. I'm so excited for him. I can't wait to see everything he got. Pretty cool. Okay, so I did manage to do all different colors. I'm happy about that. These are like not wanting to come off real easy. They kind of were melty in the packages. And I think what happened is I'll, um, I heat seal them and then I just throw them in a container and then file everything all at once. But I think think when I throw them in the container they're warm and so I think they got to the other ones but that might not be what happened it could just be warm I mean we keep the fan on all the time so I'm not sure I'm done Okay, there we go. I think it looks pretty cool. After seeing it on a couple nails, it probably would look pretty without the jellies on, but I really wanted to see what the different jellies did with it, how it made them look. All right, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. Like my video, comment down below what you think about this, and I will see you next time. Ciao!